But Ohio produces great football players. They all don't come to Ohio State and Michigan, Marv, as you know, starts uh, three on offense, including the kicker. They have five starters on defense. There's a total of 18 Ohioans on Michigan's first 44 team. The uh, blue jerseys, May 10th. They don't call them gold. They don't say yellow. It's the maize and blue. Ohio State, gray helmets, gray pants, white jerseys, the road jerseys, trimmed in scarlet. You see, the approaches the game is on, and Mike Long, when carrying downfield, Bell takes it eight yards deep in the end zone and downs it for an automatic touchback. So that's it. The football game gets underway with a long kick by Tom Stubini, eight yards deep in the end zone, and the Wolverines will get it. First and ten at their own 20-yard line. And somehow the quarterback, five-man defensive line, the give us to the fullback, Lytle going through, big scramble at the 25-yard line. Lytle was actually uh, drafting the football. Nick Bonamici makes the stop. However, the green is five, second down and five to go. The play was run off left guard. Man, the remaining back for it and I. Counter play, the ball is given off to Lytle. He gets about two yards to the 27-yard line. After overloading the right, Lytle hit back to the left and got two short yards where he was stopped by Eddie Beeman and by Ed Thompson. Leach dropping back to throw a left-handed forward pass, throws it out in the flat. It's caught by Bell and he tackled it to 34. First down, Michigan. They swung Bell out of the I formation. He is the I back, hitting in the flat about the 30. Bell got four additional yards to the 34, make it the 35, and it's the first first down of the game. Well, this Leach has only been passing about 40 percent. He's only tried 65 for the year. Leach a freshman. Leach with a ball. Option. Gives off to the pullback, Lytle, who is hit at about the 37 or 8-yard line. Lytle is the ball carrier. The, 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 it was a quick handoff to Lytle, who cracked off his own left guard and picked up three. Let's call it the 38. So it is second down and seven to go. The line of scrimmage to Michigan 38. Over right slot, but split well out. This time the ball is given off to, to uh, Lytle. Lytle hits to the 40, and that's it, as he cracked off his own right guard. Lytle, the ball carrier, piled up by Pat Curto, who threw himself into the line to stop the play. The remaining backs to an eye. Back to pass goes Leach. He eludes the tackler, has time, throws the bomb downfield. It is incomplete. One-on-one -on -one coverage. Griffin down, was down there along with Keith Johnson, the split end. Leach really wound up and heaved that ball at tremendous distance. That had to go 50 yards in the air. And uh, it might have been picked by Ray Griffin, who was playing Johnson one-on-one. -on -one. And now John Anderson comes in to kick for Michigan as the Wolverines have it fourth and five at their own 40-yard line. For the ball to be snapped from center, Johnson, the kicker, gets a floating pass from center, gets off a nice spiral carrying into the wind. Wind kind of hangs it, and it is going to be down at about the 37-yard line. So the Buckeyes will get it. Actually, it wasn't much of a kick. Kind of floated off the side of his foot, a 32-yard kick by uh, John Anderson. Green with the ball, gives off to Archie Griffin, and he gets short yardage to about the 39. Griffin, the ball carrier, didn't get much, tried to get off the short side, and Dave Devitt and Greg Morton are there to stop him. Green with the ball, dropping back to pass, the rush is on, Green runs from the, the rush, throws it upfield, it's caught by Archie Griffin, beautiful catch, and he was hit solidly on a shoulder tackle at the Michigan 46. What a catch by Griffin. Boy, he was really blasted, Tom. Oh, he came between the nutcrackers. Two men caught him in the middle, and he cut back upfield to the line of scrimmage. An amazing catch, and I'll tell you, don't think this man couldn't be a wide receiver for anybody if he weren't such a great runner. Green looks over a four-man defensive line for Michigan, gives off to Griffin. Griffin gets outside the end, is hit and pulled down at about the Michigan 43. Michigan closed that up very quickly as Jillick and Pickens were through there. They actually got around Jillick. He bounced off a tackler and then uh, kind of held Griffin in and stopped him at the 43. So the pickup is approximately 
all three yards. Let's call it second and seven at the Michigan 43. This is Ehlers. Back Nagel on the right wing. The ball is given off to Griffin. Griffin stumbles as he gets to the 40. There was a hole there, but he stumbled as he cut and went down at the 40-yard line. He might have been tripped up by uh, Greg Morton in there. The four-man defensive line gets that ball, gives it off to Pete Johnson, and he lowers his head and blasts away to about the 36-and-a-half-yard line. And they may come up a little bit short of the first down. It'll be referee's judgment on this. Pete had to get to almost the 36, and they signal dead ball. And my, we watch free practice. We game practice. This isn't the first down. This is field goal distance for either Tom Fadini or Tom Clavin. Change it. Green looks over the defense. Call signals. Gets the ball. Gives it to Johnson. He's got a first down inside the 35. He's to the 33. And Don Dufek comes up to make the stop. Scott Dinelli is in there leading the blocking for the Buckeyes. And he's a pretty good one to lead it. As uh, Dinelli and Lucan. Led the charge on the right side, and Johnson gets it to the Michigan 33. So it's four-man defensive line, gives it off to Griffin. Griffin gets outside the end of the 30. He's to the 34. He is uh, to the 26. Is it? May have fumbled the ball. Uh, Michigan is probably is, uh, signaling that they've got it, but I think the whistle blew it dead. Yeah, the whistle blew it dead. They tried to steal the ball from Griffin. It appeared that he was down. Perhaps they did steal it, but the play was over. So Griffin gets the ball to about the 26-yard line, although well, the official sets it down to 26 and a half. They never set it down on the Well, it's about 26. Always a slight adjustment when a man hits the ground on that. Second down, 26. Ohio State. Gives it off to Griffin. Griffin hits off left tackle. He's down to about the 22, and that's going to be very close to a first down. If he gets to the 22, he has it, and it looks from here like he does. First down, Ohio State, as Griffin ran an off tackle power play off the I formation. Hicks and O'Neill make the tackle for Michigan, and they mark it at about the 22-yard line call by Cornelius Green. Green gives it off to Griffin. He's got a hole and he's down to the 17-yard line. Archie Griffin, the ball carrier, as Chris Ward and Ted Smith open up a big hole on Ohio's left side or Michigan's right side. And Dave Devitch and Dan Gillick come up to make the stop for the Wolverines. The official sets the ball down at the 17-yard line. That's the This is the first possession. They take a counter, they give it to Griffin. Griffin runs into a stone wall at the 14-yard line. Archie Griffin, the ball carrier, he was blasted back, but uh, the whistle had blown the play dead at the 14. At least it should have. Now they're unpiling him. The ball is placed at about the 14-yard line. So Griffin uh, picks up additional yardage. It'll bring up a third down and about one and a half to go for a first down defense. That's practically an eight-man front to give us to Johnson. Johnson is stacked up at about the 13 and a half yard line, and I'm not sure that he got a first down. Pete Johnson, the ball carrier. The ball is directly in front of the goal post, if you're looking ahead. 13 yard line. Michigan jams the defense in. Johnson cracks into the line. Big pile up at about the 12, and I wouldn't hazard a guess. It will be close either way. Pete Johnson, the ball carrier, rammed that ball into the 12-yard line as to where they're going to set the ball down. What would you get, Tom? I'm watching the headlines from Foot, and he is just inside the 12, but there'll be no guessing him, huh? They go to the sidelines again, across the way, and those down markers will come in. But I'm going to say it's the first down because uh, the marker is exactly on the 12, and I know the ball is inside of it. It would have been whole house T formation from the Michigan 12. To give us to Pete Johnson, and he's going to get one yard to the 11-yard line. But Michigan really closed in. Johnson got just one yard as he ran an off-tackle play, and now here comes Archie jogging back on the field. So whatever the uh, hurt might have been, it didn't last long, and Jeff Logan goes out. He was great key for the Buckeyes. Green with the ball. Option keeps the ball. Goes to the... Pitches the ball out, and they're going to mark it out at the six-yard line. 
Green on a daring pitch out over on the far sideline. Picks it off to Brian Bashnagel, the trailing back. And Bashnagel caught the ball and then immediately went out of bounds. He had no running room at all. And they're going to mark it at uh, either the 6 or the 7. A half went down at the 6. From the pullback spot, Green with the ball, dropping back to throw a pass. Throws over the middle. Caught by Johnson. Touchdown, Ohio State. They pulled Johnson right over the middle and Michigan didn't cover it. So the Buckeyes draw first blood in the football game, six to nothing. On a fast play directly over the middle from Green to Johnson. Talk about surprises, that is Pete Johnson's second pass reception of the year. His 23rd touchdown, he pulled it in on the two, and when he's on the two, you can't stop his momentum. There's the surprise Woody was talking about. Michigan had everybody else covered, but they did not cover Pete Johnson. Clavin in to try the extra point. It's set down, it's kicked, it's high, it is good. Bullseye. So the score is Ohio State 7, Michigan nothing. We pause for 30 seconds. The end zone, there's the approach. There's the kick by Scodini. This one is not so long. Bell will take it at the 6. Angles to the 10. Gets to the 15. Is hit solidly at the 24-yard line. So the score is Ohio State 7, Michigan nothing. We pause for 30 seconds. Gordon Bell takes the handoff from the quarterback leaps and hits off right tackle and gets the ball about to the 27 and a half yard line. The stop was made by Aaron Brown and by Eddie Beeman. The pickup is four at his second down and six. First quarter, four minutes and 15 seconds left. Ohio State leading seven to nothing. The other side, a reverse pivot. Leaps pitches the ball back to Bell. Bell gets outside the end and is knocked out of bounds at about the 33-yard line, and that will be close to a first down. He might be a shade short, but we'll wait for the officials to decide. The game was out to the 33, it would appear. The uh, play just went into a maze of photographers here at the sideline. Well, there must be 300 photographers along the sideline here. Can't be many photographers left in the country. Quarterback. The ball is given off to the fullback, Lytle, and I don't think he got it. Wow, was he hit for the right side of the Buckeye line. I would not guess he got it as Ken Coon and Nick Bonamici are through there. Bonamici's on the bottom of the pile. Yes, sir. He lost. So now there's a floating pass from center. A high floating kick off the side of his foot. Very poor kick, although it does take a Michigan bounce. And it goes out of bounds over on the far sideline near midfield. It scores Ohio State 7, Michigan nothing. We pause for 30 seconds. Three to the right is Lenny Willis. Bashnagel is on the wing. Green with the ball. Pitcher back to Griffin. Hit behind the line of Simmons and tackle. And a beautiful defensive play by John Dusak. Oh, there's a great play by Dusak of Michigan. He went nicely through there and bounced Griffin down back at the 41-yard line on a down-the-line option. And Tom, you've never seen an option play defense any better than that. Well, Michigan needed to know that if somebody broke down because Cornelius Green was hit a whack almost before he crossed it out. Seven yards deep, and when Archie got it, he was trapped. You was there, no place to go, and now it's uh, second and 17 for the... And then the Buckeyes went to the air, and that was incomplete. So it is third and 17 now. Ball back at the Buckeye 41. Cornelius Green rolling back to pass. The rush is on. He eludes one tackle. Runs all the way back to the 25. Gets to the 30. Throws one upfield. It is incomplete. Out of the round. Knocked up in the air. Almost intercepted by Michigan. Herman Jones is the intended receiver for Ohio State. And now the Buckeyes will have to kick. It's picked up by Rick Smith, and boy, he is tough. Smith is put down pretty good, about a, and they're going to mark it to 17. It really didn't look like he got that far. 45-yard pick by Tom Scardini. So the Wolverines get the ball for the third time today. They'll have it first and goal at their own 17-yard line. They're playing with just two minutes and four seconds remaining in the first period, and Ohio State leads Michigan 7 to nothing. 
Johnson. Right away with the ball, and he goes nowhere. He cracks off his own right guard. He might have gotten a yard at the most, perhaps to the 18-yard line. Nick Bonamici and Bob Brzezinski, those two solid defenders to the boundary side. Bonamici the tackle, and Brzezinski the uh, open side end stopping. And Smith, right away with the ball, throws the quick pass, got it up in the air, incomplete. Aaron Brown knocked it up in the air and then didn't know where the ball was, and everybody was frantically looking for it, and that ball was, uh, was fair game while it was up in the air, but it came down harmlessly incomplete. This is a the right. Motion is called on Michigan. Lee packed the pass, throws it out in the flat. Beautiful catch by Gordon Bell. It's short of the first down at the 23, but I'm certain Michigan is in motion. Not trying to officiate, but... Uh, it's obvious that Rick Smith missed the starting count. Keith Johnson, rather, on the wing. The 23-yard line. Good pass from center. Anderson has time. Gets off a high kick. It in very good. Doesn't even go to midfield. And it rolls dead at the 43-yard line. So, uh, Ohio State kicking game, which of course is tremendous, uh, really, has outshown Michigan here. That was only a 21-yard punt. Our Michigan has three punts, 23, 20, and 21. Four-man defensive line for Michigan. Green with the ball, gives it off to Griffin, bumps into his own, gets about a yard to the 42. Gillick is there to make the stop. Uh, Wherever the play was supposed to hit, something went wrong because it appeared that Griffin bumped into one of his own blockers and uh, was actually stopped at the team begin to assert themselves. Green with the ball, dropping back to pass, the rush is on, Green eludes the blocker, throws a long ball. They have the ball at the one-yard line, Leach calling signal, long count, gets that ball, gives it off to Lytle, he finds a big hole, he's all the way out to the 11-yard line, and that'll be a first down if he gets to the 11. A big hole in Ohio State completely loses the field position angle. They're going to call for a measurement out there, and even if it isn't a first down, they're not going to quite give him to the 11, but uh, now Michigan's totally out of trouble as they ran that one out on a quick hitter, and Lytle found a big hole. He sure fooled somebody in the Buckeye line, but then give credit to uh, the Michigan blocker. Chains being put down, it's going to be a first down for the Wolverines. At the end of the first quarter, the score is Ohio State 7, Michigan nothing. This is the Ohio State Football Network. Leach is the quarterback, Aaron Brown the middle guard. Leach with the ball, gives it off to Gordon Bell, and he's upset at the 13-yard line. Gordon Bell, the ball carrier, found a hole just to the left of the center, and then he was upset by Aaron Brown, the middle guard of Ohio State, and they mark it at the Michigan 13. He pitches back to Bell. There's the power sweep. Bell eludes the tackler. Gets away from another one to the 20, the 25, the 30. Gets him with clear. Gets away from another man to the 40. And it's good. The Ohio 44-yard line, the first time the Wolverines have been in Buckeye territory. Lee for the ball. Pitches back to Bell. The ball is loose. It's thrown on by Ohio State. Pitch out to Gordon Bell and Ed Thompson falls on the football. Leach might have panicked just a bit on the option play. Hits the ball back to Bell. Bell didn't handle it. And it's difficult to determine here whether the pitch was that bad or whether Bell was just all thumbs. But in any way, he didn't handle it. And it was fallen on by Ed Thompson to Ohio State. The line of scrimmage, the Buckeye 45. Green with the ball, dropping back to pass, throws it out in the flat. It's caught by Larry Green, and he's tackled at the Michigan 40. Ohio went to the tight end that time and passed on first down. So it is apparent that the Buckeyes think that Michigan secondary is vulnerable. And you know, you look at the statistics, and they have been vulnerable this year. Because coming into this game... In motion goes Brian Bashnagel to the right. Michigan rotates the defense back to pass is green. Under throws his man at the 30-yard line. It's incomplete. Made a falling attempt, but green just plain under threw him incomplete. So it is now second down and 10 to go, and the Buckeyes throwing that football. 
Line of scrimmage, the Michigan, well, it's back at about the 41. Leading 7 to nothing. Green with the ball, rolling back to pass, throws it out in the flat. Batted down by Michigan incomplete. Good play by Calvin O'Neill. Nice defensive play by Calvin O'Neill and the Buckeyes. Just as uh, kind of surprised people here by going to the air. It's screwed down. Green runs out of the post and scores one up field. It is intercepted by Michigan. Intercepted by Michigan. And the Wolverine rush has really messed up Green. He threw it on the run and threw it very badly. Right at Tim Davis. Who's the quarterback? Leach looks over a five-man defensive line, gets that ball, drops back to throw a pass, has plenty of time, throws it upfield, it's dropped. It's dropped by Rick Smith at the 42-yard line. And I'll say this for Leach, he put that football right there, and Smith just plain dropped it. Greg Griffin was covering on the play for Ohio State, but uh, the pass was there, and it was just not held by the Michigan receiver, Rick Smith. But uh, even at that, Smith doesn't drop very many. He's the leading Michigan pass. Motion out to the left. There's the ball given off to Gordon Bell. Bell into the middle is pulled down at the 30-yard line. Gordon Bell, the ball carrier. He was tackled on the play by Bob Radzinski, the wide side end of Ohio State. Single coverage on each man. Leaches back to pass, has time. Throws one upfield. A beautiful falling catch made by Michigan. It's a 42-yard line by Pete Johnson. Beautiful falling catch. To the right is Johnson. That's the young man that made that beautiful pass reception. State puts about eight men up front. Leach with the ball, gives it off to Gordon Bell. Bell finds a hole and gets to the 37. Gordon Bell, the ball carrier, he ran it behind his own left guard, Mark Donahue, and there was a hole there, and the gain is to the Buckeye 37 were Griffin and Coon and Thompson. Stop it. But a big for Ohio State. Leach with the ball, dropping back to pass, is in trouble, and they catch him back at the 44-yard line. Ray Griffin on a safety blitz came through there to get him, and that's about the first time we have seen that. Bob Brzezinski was also there, and they nail Leach back at the Buckeye. Big play here for Michigan. Third down and 12. Leach is back to pass. The rush is on. The pass is thrown, intercepted by Ohio State. Uh, I think it's Cassidy. It's returned to the 30, and it is the tackle at about the 32. Yes, it is Craig Cassidy. That's his seventh pass interception of the season. So Leach throwing under extreme pressure. Boy, the pass rushes of these two teams have really been something. Give a lot of credit to the defense. Griffin, Ray Griffin again put on a safety blitz, and he was zeroing in on Leach, and Leach saw that, and he just had to throw the football. 32. The regular team is in there. The ball is given off to Archie Griffin. Griffin finds rough going to the 34-yard line as he hit behind his own right guard, Bill Lucan. Back to throw a pass. The rush is on. Green loop. One man throws to Griffin. Griffin is hit and dropped back at the 28-yard line. Little jump-off pass from Green to Griffin, and it was well diagnosed. And Michigan's pass rush is really possession. Ash Nagel goes in motion to the left. Green with the ball. is a mix-up on the play. Green flips and falls. Flags are down. Now we'll see what the violation is. The whole thing got messed up. Illegal procedure again against Ohio State. Larry King moved on the tight end spot. So Michigan, of course, will decline the play that got nowhere. And now 29-yard line, a good pass from center. So Danny steps forward, gets off a nice long kick, carrying downfield. Gets fumbled by a Michigan man. They scramble for it. Michigan gets it at about the 33-yard line. Jim Smith juggled the ball, dropped it, and then pounced on it back at the 33. So there is no return. Pretty effective kick by Tom Sladeny. He kept it low into the win and uh, did get good yardage out of that from the 28 all the way up to the Michigan 33, and I guess that makes you about 13-9 yards. Three. Leach is the quarterback, gets the ball, gives off as a quick handoff to Lytle, and Lytle finds a big hole across the 40 to the 42. 
stopped by Ken Kuhn of Ohio State. Big gain there with Robbie Lytle carrying the ball. There's a handoff to Lytle. Lytle gets the first down as he hits off his own left guard to the 44-yard line. That's the fifth Michigan first down of the game. Beeman, Thompson, and Bonamici. Finally got him, got him at the Buckeye 32. An excellent run by Gordon Bell. Jim Smith is wide to the right for Michigan. To the left is Keith Johnson. Leach with a ball down the line, option eludes one tackler, fumbles the football, and let's see, it's still loose. And I think Ohio State gets it at the 30, yes. Buckeyes get the football. Aaron Brown falls on the ball. It was bouncing all over the place. A Michigan man had it for an instant. He couldn't handle it. A Buckeye had it at the 31. He missed it. And then Aaron Brown pounced on it. It's given to Pete Johnson, and he gets about four yards to the 34-yard line. Pete Novers have hurt badly. The ball is given to Griffin, and he hits the stone wall at the 35. Griffin, the ball carrier, tried to hit behind his left guard, Ted Smith, but Michigan just jammed that defense in tight. As Devich, O'Neal, Davis, Perlinger, they're all in. Green with the ball, down the line option, going to run. They get him for a loss, back at the 34-yard line. A loss of one as Michigan diagnosed that down the line option to perfection. And Tim Davis, the middle guard, went through there and caught him back at the 34. Six, the line of scrimmage, the Buckeye 34. A perfect pass from center. So Danny gets off a tremendous kick way over the head of the safety man and it's going to bounce. Oh, it's into the end zone. Ohio couldn't quite get it. What a kick by Tom Slodini. And he kicked back into the wind. 66 yards. Ball first and 10 at the 20. Leach gives off the Gordon Bell. Bell into the middle. Goes five yards to the 25-yard line. He is stopped by Ken Kuhn, the open side linebacker of Ohio State. Second and five, line of scrimmage, line of scrimmage to 25. Leach with the ball, gives it off to Gordon Bell, and he's tackled at the 27-yard line, a two-yard game. Bell, the ball carrier, a good charge by Nick Bonamici, who eluded a blocker and nailed Bell. Go to the 30 for a first down. Leach with the ball. Lytle gets the first down on a quick hitting play to the 34-yard line. First and 10, Michigan. And again, they ran that play behind left guard Mark Donahue. We pause 10 seconds for station identification. Smith starts in motion to the right for the Michigan. The pitch out goes to Bell on the power sweep. Gets a good block. Is hit by Ray Griffin and pulled out of bounds at the 35. A fine defensive play by Ray Griffin. Griffin threw a blocker and caught Bell over at the sideline and uh, stopped him out of bounds at about the 35. This quarter, the line of scrimmage, the 35, back to passes, Leach throws one over the middle, and an Ohio State defender fell down. Bruce Moore fell down, and the pass is completed all the way to the Buckeye 35. It's caught by Keith Johnson as Bruce Rule slipped and fell. A 30-yard gain, Keith Johnson's second big gain, and I'll tell you, the ball was slightly overthrown. He had to die for it, had he not. Drop a man back, leads for the ball, gives it off to Gordon Bell. He is hit by Ray Griffin at the 32-yard line. Bruce Rule was also there for Ohio State. Now they're going to mark it at the 31. Johnson, the tight end on the right side. Leach with the ball on the option is caught for a loss as Ed Thompson. Nice through to get him back at the 36-yard line. Good defensive play by Ed Thompson, and they mark it at the 35. I, could, I just don't understand the placement of a football. Five-yard line, Leach with the ball, dropping back to pass. Has time, going to run with it now. Comes out to the 30, eludes the tackler and falls at about the 25-yard line. And I think he's got a first down at the 24. If they give it to the 24, and yes, that'll be a first down. First down to the 24-yard line. Big play by Leach. He dropped back to pass. 
the Ohio had uh, pretty good coverage down there, and he just 40 seconds remaining. Leach for the ball, dropping back to pass, throws one upfield. It is batted down, incomplete. Incomplete. Boy, was that a great play by Craig Cassidy. The receiver was there. He was going to basket the ball, and Craig reached around and swiped it right out of his grasp. Second down and 10. 30 ball at the Buckeye 24. Leach back to pass. His rush throws it upfield. It is caught at the 12-yard line. Caught at the 12-yard line by Keith Johnson. And he's caught as many passes this game as he has all season. He had only two coming in. Now he's the secret weapon. He's got three this afternoon. And now Michigan is first down. And the ball's on the 11. They're fighting the clock for 30 seconds to go. And they want to go in the end zone. They'd like to tie it up. But Michigan. Another important factor. 30 seconds remaining on the clock. Leach calling signals. Pitches back to Gordon Bell. Bell's going to throw a pass. Throws it upfield. Caught. Touchdown, Michigan. A pass from Gordon Bell. And uh, the Wolverines get right back to the football game as Jim Smith catches it. A halfback pass play. And there is a case of height. Smith just went over the top of the Ohio State defender and caught that football in the end zone. Well, Jimmy Smith is 6'3", and Wallace uh, will be held at the 10-yard line. It's set down. There's the kick. It's high. It has the distance. It is good. Brand new football game. So Michigan battling the clock has tied it to score. The ball is resting at the 40-yard line. There's the approach. There's the kick. A high one going downfield, not too far. Griffin will take it at the 12. Comes to the 15, to the 20, is hit and dropped at about the 22-yard line. And they say that there's a fumble on that play, and Michigan has the football. I didn't see a fumble, did you, Tom? No. And he went down in a pile, and Johnny Anderson, a sophomore, apparently fell on it. There must have been a fumble when the big pileup was there that... Now with 18 seconds left, Michigan can score again, at least by way of the field goal, and go in instead of 7-7 seven seven can take the lead. And we know they can probably run three more pass plays right now, and they're hot. The Wolverines are on the move. They've been giving the ball off. First down and 10. Leach for the ball, dropping back to pass. is hit from behind and flattened. Incomplete. Leach was hit from behind. He was hit by Eddie Beeman. Aaron Brown was also there. And it's ruled an incompleted pass. So that used uh, no, just four seconds. Fourteen seconds remain in play now in the second. All right, here we go. Leach back to pass. Has all the time in the world. Throws it over the middle. It's incomplete and almost intercepted by Ray Griffin. Griffin, for an instant, had the football and then didn't hold it. Jim Smith was the intended receiver. Ten seconds remaining. One, Leach calling signal, gets the ball, gives it off to Gordon Bell. He's hit and going to get dropped. And Michigan will get for call timeout, and the ball is at about the 19-yard line, and here will come the field goal team. from the 27-yard line. It is set down. There's the kick. It's high. It has the distance. It is no good. It is off to the right. He missed it. So the score remains nothing or 7-7 seven to seven at halftime. And we've had an unusual ending. That's the end of the first half. The score, Ohio State 7, Michigan 7. This is the Ohio State Football Network game really just starting again and I think the disturbing factor to Ohio fans is Michigan 237 yards of offense and Ohio State 78 this team the Buckeyes like to run they have only 43 on the ground Archie Griffin 25 Gordon Bell 101 and I think for the Buckeyes to win this to go to the Rose Bowl for the fourth straight time they've got to go back and run the ball like they did the first series when they went 63 yards for the touchdown and their only score we have Jeff Logan and Brian Bashnagel down it goes beyond Brian Bashnagel goes into the end zone and crosses the boundary line and goes out so 
Woods is out of bounds back of the end zone. It will be an automatic touchback. It is a handoff. Johnson takes the handoff. Green the screen, hammers over the middle, tries the Wolverine line, and goes three yards to the 23. And then Dave Devich brings him down. Second down and seven, Ohio State. And Marv Holman for the Buckeyes to get going. 43 yards against uh, first half and right. And Fashnagel, Green with a long count with the second and seven. Gets to Archie Griffin, tries to get him the outside. Archie gets the corner, turns up the field and gets to the 24. And is met by a whole host of Wolverines. More than you can throw at. And Archie, who seemed to be getting to the outside, couldn't fight away from that final defender and gets one yard. Greg Morton brought him down. Third down and six, Ohio State on the 24. And the win in their face. He's now run two plays in this the third quarter. It's seven down and six, Ohio State on their 24. First possession of the second half. Double hand up, Ryan Bassingle around the corner. Gets up field. Hammers says he gets the 30. It's the, his shoulder pad drew on the 30. The ball's going to be a little shy. Dave Devich and Greg Morton brought him down. Tom, this is going to be a matter of inches. Again, it's the placement of the football, but our guess is going to be that it's going to be short of a first down by about six inches. And back on his 14, hands out stretch, gets the ball. Uh, short wobbly pot, Gordon Bell will take it on his 36, cuts up the middle on the 40, and is hammered down immediately across to the 40 and goes to the 42. So the Wolverines at Ohio State have tied 7-7 seven in seven Michigan with their first position as it's in good position, first down and 10 on their own 42. All right, it's Johnson out to the left. First down and 10, Michigan on their own 42. Their first play of the second half, it goes to Bell, tries to cut the middle of the Buckeye line. Kenny Coon and plenty of Buckeyes are there to bring him down. And the penetration is to the 45-yard line. Give that to Pat Curdo. Ohio State on defense across the front four, the same that started the game. Bob Brzezinski of Fremont, Eddie Beeman of Cincinnati, Aaron Brown of Warren Western Reserve, Nick Bonamici of Brentwood, New York, Pat Curdo of Groveport. Lineback ball, leaps a long count, takes a ride, keeps the, and gives the light, a light, breaks over the middle, gets over the 45 and down the Ohio State 40 and through the 39. 11.40 to go here in the third period as it's Rob Lytle tries the middle again. And he finds the Buckeyes too tough as he cracks down to about the 36. Eddie Beeman, the 240-pound sophomore from Cincinnati Whitlow, in on the tackle. But Michigan is hammering the ball, second down and six, and they're on the Ohio State 36. The so seven is the score. Michigan over the ball. Leach uh, gives to Gordon Bell, tries to get to the outside. He can get to the 35, and he sliced off his feet. Bruce Rule in on the play. Getting up is Ray Griffin and also Aaron Brown. So a penetration of about two yards. Here in the third quarter. Snap of the ball. Leach runs to the outside. He is hammered by one guy and drops for a loss. Ray Griffin broke in. That was another safety blitz with Ray Griffin breaking through there. And while Griffin did not actually make the tackle, he was the man that messed it up. And he forced Leach to cut inside. And the stop was made back at the 36-yard line, a big defensive play for Ohio State. Now this, Woody, make that uh, John Mandy. It's on the 42. It's going to be way, way, way short. It's in the end zone, incomplete. So, uh, Woody. The kicker was Wilner, he missed it, and the score is still 7-7. Seven to seven. Seven deep in the eye, pitch out to Archie, floats to the outside, turns in, camps away from one block, and just digs his way for hard yardage up to the 24-yard line. Dave Devich knocked him down, but Michigan's floating several uh, maize and blue players to the outside whenever Archie gets the ball. And unofficially, Archie has 29 yards. The ball is on the 25-yard line of Ohio State, 75 yards away. Pitch out to Archie Gibbons, tries the weak side, rolls off one. He is driven down by Dwight Dickerman wide to the left. Ayers is over the ball. Bashnagel goes in motion to the wide side of the field. Snap of the ball, Griffin tries the middle, splits up the middle. He digs, and he's a little shy of that first down. He had a valiant four yards, Marv Holland, but he only got to the 29. He had to get to the 30. Tom, they're going to come up a couple of feet short again. They set the ball down two feet short. A 
inside the 30-yard line. So again, Ohio State faces the kicking situation as they try to half-back trap play. Uh, there was a hole there, but Michigan closed it up quickly and Griffin. Jimmy Smith, Gordon Bell go back to about the 33, and then he gets good toe in this. It drives the Bell back to his 25, goes to 24, backpedals, dodges one man, gets the 30, goes down, and the flag goes down. Gordon Bell hammered down on the 29. The flag goes down, and to call it for you, here's Marv. They're pointing an accusing finger at big number 71 of Michigan, that's Hennessy, and that could well be a clipping call. Yes, it is. Clipping is called on Hennessy of Michigan. He's upset about it, but the flag went down, so there will be a step off against Michigan from that point. The quarterback, Rick Leach, deep as Bell, sends in the round. It is uh, Smith trying a flanker reverse, comes over the line of scrimmage, and gets to just about the 16-yard line. Eddie Thompson, Pat Curtis in on the tackle. Make it a gain of about three. Third down and seven, Michigan. Ohio State has them backed up thanks to the penalty. The wind at Michigan's back somewhat all deep in the eye, and Leach calling signals. Uh, give it to Rob Lytle. Rob tries to slide off. Gets off one tackle. Comes through to the 20, and several Buckeyes meet him just head on, standing him up and driving back on his backside to about the 16. Kenny Kuhn of Lewisville threw a stout shoulder into there along with Big Nick Bonham. Rolls out to the right, cuts in himself. Gives it out to Lila, gets the 25, the 30, breaks into the open, gets the 35, and the quarterback puts up to Lila going all the way up to the field. Flanks the left, it's Bell trying to dive over the middle where there is no hole. Pat Curdo on top of the play, underneath of it, Kenny Kuhn and Nick Bonamici. Probably a gain of a yard, just simply flying. Second down and nine, Michigan on the 41. 14 to go in the third period. Right play, Lytle tries the middle of the Ohio State line and gets to the 45. Delayed buck trap play up the middle. Eddie Beeman sent to that, but Lytle did move the ball four yards. Michigan likes to run that play off their own left side, and they get some. It's only five men down. It's uh, Lytle up the middle. He is hammered down for a loss. It was the same play, trying to slide to his left. And Aaron Brown and Brzezinski took him off his feet back on the 44. And there the defense got their back up and held. It's fourth and six now. Michigan back on. And Craig Cassidy go back. Fox is deep on his 18. Anderson uh, just plunks the ball. Sideline kicks in the land at about the 30. Going to go to the out, out of bounds on the 26. And Marv, I think he's intentionally kicking short. He doesn't want to run back by Tim Fox. Well, it could well be, but he has uh, actually penalized Michigan considerably on some very short kicks. The score, Michigan 7, Ohio State 7, and time is... Nickel in motion to the right. Back to pass is Green, throwing to the sideline, and the receiver falls down. It was Lenny Willis up looking on the uh, 36 yard line. He fell, and Jim Pickens almost picked that off. Ohio State in motion to the right. Cornelius gives to Pete Johnson up the middle, and he is hugged down to the linebacker, Dan Bevitt, just when the hole seemed to be opening. So he is brought down on the 32. The Buckeyes will have to kick fourth down and three. And Ohio State, Michigan's going to rush nine men. Houdini gets it up. High, booming kick, hangs it there a bit. Fair catch by Gordon Bell on the 28th. Ohio State had coverage, but fair catch is there, and Michigan will start out first down and 10 on their own 28-yard line. Well, this is Tom Hamlin along with Marv Holman, final game of the season, Ohio State against Michigan. The Buckeyes, number one in the country, have been out battled this afternoon. Winged out to the left is Jimmy Smith. Rick Lee takes across the 30, across the 35, gets the 40, and breaks to the outside and goes out of bounds as he hits the 43-yard line. Ray Griffin brought him down. But now Rick, Rick Leach is running that option play. The Ohio State defensive end, Pat Curto, elected to drop off Leach and play the pitch man. Leach read the move perfectly, kept it, cut inside Curto, and got big yardage down to the Michigan 43-yard line where it is first and 10. Quarterback for the Wolverine stakes. He and Lytle run together, and they collide, and down goes Leach, and he lost perhaps a yard to the 42. 
Lila went slamming in on that same belly series. Nobody got the ball, and Aaron Brown's credits for stacking it up. Kenny Cooner and Eddie Thompson in on the play. Out of the huddle, Smith and uh, Johnson stood up. Leach drops the pass, going over the middle. It is way, way overthrown, intended for the flanker back, Jimmy Smith, down on about the 35-yard line or 30 of Ohio State, and it just floated way beyond his reach. He was well covered. Third down and 11, Michigan. They're on their 42. Jimmy Smith, Lytle Leach. Back to pass is Rick Leach being pursued out of the pocket. Runs out of it and is stripped and drops for a loss as he reaches the 40-yard line by Eddie Beeman. Three Mays and uh, blue receivers were deep, but now Michigan will have to kick fourth down and a long loss. The line of scrimmage will be the 30 line. Tim Fox is back on his 25. A high hammering kick in the wind. Fox takes it on his 20 and is knocked down in the trap. Bob Lytle downfield, and Ohio State once again, 80 yards away, first down and 10 on their own 20. And so for the third time, a long count, drive flake, drip and drives the middle, finds going up and finds five or six maze and three players there, and they stack him up, maybe no gain at all. Denny Davis and Dave Divish. And ever since Archie Griffin has been a starter, this has to be his most frustrating, hard-nosed afternoon. Mark. Second down and nine on their 22 and the snap of the ball. The pitch to Archie Griffin sweeps to the outside. Can't get away from one tackle. Still goes sideways and finally gets to the 24. Great lateral pursuit by Michigan. Don Dupek on the play. His father was a great fullback here, hammering down in Ohio. Has been unable to get to the outside this half seconds to go in the quarter. Snap of the ball. They give to Brian Backsnagel, trying to get away from one straight arms. One comes up field to 25. Runs out of sideline and goes out of bounds on the 26. He tried the short side, the west side of the field. Jimmy Pickens pushed him out, and Ohio will have to punt fourth down and five. And this Michigan crowd really roars because the Wolverines are really applauding their defensive unit. And twin safeties, Jimmy Smith and Belled up to put a good rush on him. The ball is floated down to a Smith on his 28, comes to the 30, and is hit immediately and dropped on the play. Several Ohio State defenders in on him, and we pause now for station identification. This is the Ohio State Football Network. This is WSLR Akron, the radio home of Ohio State University football. Follow the Bucks throughout the 1975 season right here on Whistler. Woody Wright and Jimmy Smith goes in motion to the left. Lytle tries to play, cuts up the middle, takes his way over to 35, and goes to the 37-yard line. Somehow... Michigan is spreading the Ohio State defense, Marv, and floating three and four yards at the crack up that middle. Lytle is taking a step to the outside, and then when he gets the handoff, he's cutting back on what is almost an individual counter. And that has worked effectively. There is the gun, and that's the end of the third quarter. The score, Michigan 7, Ohio State 7. And Rick Leach calls the signal, and Ohio State puts five men in on the line of scrimmage, dumping. Leach rolls the outside, pitches to Bell, sits back up the middle, hits the one man, maybe top and misses him, and finally, Bob Rizinski brings him down, but not until he reaches the 45-yard line of Michigan. A very brilliant eight-yard cutback run up the grain on the eastern sidelines, and Michigan has the first and ten, just over their 45, call up the 46, and Gordon Bell's had himself an afternoon so far. The youngster has 114 yards, and he entered the game, the leading ground gate in Northern Michigan on their own 46, option play, leech keeping, sets up field, gets the 50, gets the 45, breaks one tackle, gets over the 45, into Ohio State territory where he steps out of bounds on the 44-yard line. Once again, Ray Griffin brought him down, but now it's Rick Leach running the option play and running it well. And now Michigan has crossed the 50-yard line, and they're on the mark. They have it first and 10 at the Buckeye. And Michigan on the 43, and it's Bell tries the center of the Buckeye line on the uh, inbounds marker, 17 yards from the western sideline. And Gordon picks his way, perhaps a yard to the 42. It is 7-7, seven to seven, final period, 14-16 to go as Nick Bonamici and Aaron Brown put their bodies in front of Gordon Bell and his interference. 
Long count, Leach uh, fakes to Lytle, keeps himself on the option, pitches to Gordon Bell. This time, he is dropped full off. Timmy Fox comes up and drops him down on about the 43. And it's going to be third down and 10 Michigan on their own, on the high State 43, but the Wolverines are in here driving. Now, Mark Smurgy goes in, the freshman at tight end. And, and uh, Smith splits to the left. Leach goes back, has the men going deep. Now he cuts up, runs up the middle. He's trying to run and gets to the 40-yard line and is dropped. And on the play is Pat Curdo and Bob Brzezinski. It is down to the 37-yard line. It is field goal range. Fourth down and five. And Anderson goes in to punt. It's against the win. Anderson will stand back. Anderson stands back on his 43. Ohio State does not rush. A low kick will roll and hit on the 20. Comes down to the 10. Covered by Michigan very well. Takes the Michigan roll and goes to the six-yard line and rolls dead. So the Wolverines cover practically to the five. So Ohio State unable to move for a first down since early in the second period. Timeout is called. The score is Ohio State 7, Michigan 7. Cornelius Green with the call. Pitches to Archie. Swings against the fence. Nailed down on the three and very perilously close to a safety. Michigan just piled him up on the western sideline, the short side of the field. As Greg Morton, Ohio State back up second down. We'll say it's 13 on their own three-yard line. Archie Griffin deep in the eye. Johnson hammers the middle. And he goes down on the four-yard line. And the Buckeyes now have almost run out of bounds. It'll be third down stalled on their own four. And now Tom Spadini goes in on Ohio State. Spadini gets it out. It is a short punt. It comes over the 35 to the 40. Stays in bounds and finally goes out. Michigan made a great effort to block it. Spadini under pressure kicks the ball out just about 38 yards. And the referee will mark it on the 44-yard line. Did Spadini a 40-yard kick on that under great pressure. Here's Michigan now, first down and 10, and they have the ball on the Ohio State 43. Deep is Gordon Bell, tries to go up the middle, fixes his way right down to the 40-yard line, about three yards, and the particularly Buckeye defense. Ray Griffin in on the play, and Eddie Thompson. They're going to mark the ball, team and eye. The freshman quarterback call signals, drops back with protection, putting three man deep, runs now, no one covering him. Now he's hit. And he goes out of bounds at just about the line of scrimmage here on the western sideline. Eddie Beeman in on the play, and Nick Bonamici and Pat Curdo coming up very quickly also. And it'll be no gain. Third down and seven, Michigan. Maybe he lost some yardage. He did lose about a yard, I believe. Two men down deep. It is incomplete. Intended for flanker Jim Smith down on the 12-yard line, but a flag is down, as a matter of fact, two of them. Here's Morris. Aaron Brown had crossed the line of scrimmage, and he will be called for off with Michigan on a third down and fourth situation. Leach keeping on the option, pitching deep to Bell, trying to float around. He's going to make the yardage as he's pulled down from behind by Bob Dzinski. 9.49 to go. Clock is moving. Breaking the huddle. Keith Johnson wide to the left. Smith to the right. Leach rolling back, throwing on the run. It is complete as he falls. It's Jimmy Smith getting the ball in on the 22nd and 12 Michigan and Ohio State 15. They're down. Leach takes, rolls to the right. Two men deep in the end zone, throwing down there. It is a diving kick by Jim Smith inside on the four-yard line. And Michigan is first and goal to go on the four and this to this crowd. Boys, snap of the ball. And it is the quarterback Leach leaping down to the one-yard line and a loop out to the left. And Eddie Beeman brings him down, but now Michigan is second down and goal. And they have driven from the 43-yard line, their own 43, and they are down here threatening to go ahead. As it's second and goal on the one. Long count. Lytle is the quarterback. Leach keeps himself. Goes in. Michigan touchdown of Wolverine takes the lead. 13 to 7 with 7 11 to go in this game. And this crowd erupts. Streamers come out of the crowd. The Michigan team is jumping down on the north end as they walk out to the five. So Michigan has taken control of the game and they have driven all the way down the field. 
field for this touchdown. And now we'll have a try for the extra point. Wood will be kicking. Seven minutes and 11 seconds left in Michigan leads for the first time today, 13 to 7. All right, Wood will kick from the 10-yard line to the north. Hands outstretched. Teams are down there. The snap of the kick is up. And it is good. Wood is now made 31 out of uh, 34. Time out is called the score. Michigan 14, Ohio State 7. Action will continue in just 30 seconds. And uh, Jeff Logan. 7-11 to go in the game, and Michigan leading 14-7. It's a low line drive kick taken by the bounce back of Willis. Going to go into the end zone. No chance for a run back, and he lets it go beyond the end zone. Line drive, flat kick, hard to handle. Landed on about the 20. Willis wanted to field the ball on about the 3, and he simply could not uh, just pull in this very uh, twisting ball. First down and 10, Ohio State on the 20. They have not made a first down, 15-7. Back to pass is Cornelius Green. Plenty of time to throw downfield for Herman Jones. It is beyond him and goes incomplete. Down on the Michigan 38, and he was well covered by Dwight Dick. So Cornelius Green with the win, crosswind is his back team out throwing. And it's just a long down, second and 10, Ohio State. 7.05 to go, and the Buckeyes were trying to make up a lot of yardage in a hurry because they haven't been able to go over the ball. Both ends split out. Back to pass is Green. Back pedal to five. Takes the two for life. Maybe get back in the end zone. He's got to throw it out of there. He throws on the run. It's going to be picked up and almost intercepted by two Wolverine players. And in desperation, back in his end zone, avoiding a possible safety. Hicks and Bolden had a shot at the ball in the secondary, and Cornelius Green just fired that ball up in a pack of players. And Timmy Davis was just making him run for his life. Buckeyes have had trouble blocking Tim Davis, but then that was the story last year. Ayers is over the ball. Back to pass is Green. Plenty of time. Throws the sidelines. Pass tackle has it for the first down. He's on the 30, steps out of bounds, and he goes over the 30, and a pressure reception. Brian Bashnagel gives Ohio State second win and a life up on the 38. Boy, Bashnagel is hurt on the sideline. He has not gotten up. Uh, it's in front of the Michigan bench, and our vision is obscured, but I'm afraid Brian Bashnagel is hurt. That was a move out to the left. Along with Lenny will have snapped the ball. Back to pass is Green. Good protection going over the middle of his diving catch, and it's complete. To Lenny Willis over the Michigan 50 and down on the 49. And that stops the clock with an automatic first down. And it's up on the 49 of Michigan. And now the Buckeyes have come out throwing, and Bash Nagel goes back in the game, and Jimmy Harrell out. Trailing 14 to 7. Green back to pass again. Heading over the middle is Lenny Willis. He's got it on the Michigan 32 and he's hammered off his feet. But he was wide open and finally Dwight Hicks brought him down. But the Buckeyes have marched down the field and stopped the clock at 6 7. They're on the Michigan 31. Three consecutive clutch passes have gotten Ohio State all the way down to the Michigan 31 yard line where it is now first and 10. Six minutes and two seconds. Passing record is Green snaps the ball, gives to Archie Griffin. Archie breaks over the 25, gets the 20, and down to the 19 for his biggest gain of the day. And he is brought down by the secondary led by Don Dupek. But it's a 12-yard gainer. Now they adjust it back to the 20, but it's another Buckeye first down, and suddenly this team, number one in the nation, trailing has come alive, and they've come all the way. Griffin deep in the eye, and Ohio State's on the 20, and Michigan moving. On the option play, Premier Rumors Green to the 15, steps back to the, gets inside the 10, and down to the 8. And that's the first successful option play of the afternoon for the Buckeyes. And Tom, there for the first time today, we saw what Cornelius Green can do when he can get that defense spread. They had the defense all over the field. Green rolled out to the left as if to pass, ran with the ball, and got it down to the Michigan 8-yard line, where it is first and goal. And the ball as Green calls the signals on the 8th. Pete hammers to the five, stays on his feet, digs, and refuses to go down till he hits the two. He just slid off a tackle and went to the right outside before Dwight Hicks brought him down. 
4.50 to play. The clock is moving here in the final period. 14 to 7, Michigan. Drama as Ohio State now is back picking the play on the 10-yard line. Full house backfield for Ohio State. Johnson hammers in. He is to the goal line, but not in. He is just feet away with 4.25 to play. Dwight Hicks and Calvin O'Neill in on the hammer. Big Pete Johnson is just a couple of feet away from a touchdown, and will that ever put the drama on the end line? Michigan digs in, practically the 11-man line. Johnson hammers. He did not make it. He ran into his shoulder, and he has stopped once again. No gain with 3.52 to play, and the entire Wolverine line just stood up and played in his way. Rock is still rolling off 345 seconds to go, and the ball is going to be placed down on just about the 18-inch line. Tom, you know this season is going to be decided on this play. This play, the teams are down. It's an interesting ball for singles. It's Johnson Hammond, who is three feet into the end zone. It's a Buckeye touchdown. And the stand, North East End, erupts for the Buckeye fan and it's 14 to 13, and the Buckeyes have driven 80 yards on the passing arm of Cornelius Green and the final eight yards on the pool like rushes of Pete Johnson, who now has 24 touchdowns. Remember, a tie would send Ohio State to the Rose Bowl. It would make them co-champions. Trying the extra point is Tom Craven. He is 43 of 45, fashioning over the hole. The teams are down. There's the snap. Kind of poorly handled, but the kick is good, and the game is tied with 3.18 to play. Time out is called. The score, Ohio State 14, Michigan 14. Action will continue in just 30 seconds. Don't know the off from the 40. Back to the north, back is Gordon Bell on the goal line, along with Rob Lytle. It is a deep kick, three yards deep in the end zone, and Bell stays right there and kneels five yards deep. And with 3.17 to go, no time elapsed on the kickoff since the ball didn't touch anybody in the field of play. Michigan will put it in play, first down and 10 on their own 20, driving into a slight win. And they... Nick Leach drops back, sending three man deep. He is smooth back on the nine-yard line. Bob Gazinski and Aaron Brown just like a hawk, and they slap hands. And now they'll just the ball back to the 11, but a huge loss of nine. A good, strong rush for the middle of the Ohio State line messed that one up. And sure enough, Rick Leach was going to go for the bomb. He had his receivers deep, but there just wasn't time to get rid of the football. Along with Keith Johnson, all receivers are in. Leach drops back to his three. Going long upfield, it is. Drops his first men. Jimmy Smith and Ohio State's Craig Cassidy fought for the ball. Both momentarily had it. It fell three, it goes incomplete, and it's third down and 19 Michigan on their 11, and the clock is stopped, 2.32 to play. Well, anything on that pass play, Cassidy might have had the better position as he all split up. Meets the third and 19 on his 11, drops back to his three, throws on the run upfield, it is picked off! Like he doesn't bother Ray to 15 to 10, the five, he's knocked out of bounds on the three! Little brother Ray Griffin promises the football, hugged in the end zone. He picked the ball up on the 40 and ran it all the way back to three, and they just mauled him in the end zone. Ray Griffin, Archie's little brother, has maybe snatched a certain time or victory from defeat, and now the Buckeyes will have a first and goal on the three. 2.23 to play on this to go. Johnson, the close man, putting his screen, calls the signals. Johnson hammers, full light for the one, pulls in for the score. And the Buckeyes go ahead by the score of 20 to 14. And Bedlam in the northeast stands with the Ohio Rooters are on the Buckeye bench goes wild. Tom, if anything, Johnson went over too quickly because now we have two minutes and 19 seconds left. And Michigan has time to battle with Fox, but let's not worry about that. It's 20 to 14, Ohio State. Tom Clavin will be in to try the extra point. That's two Buckeye touchdowns. Winder soccer style will kick it. There's the snap. The ball is kicked high. It is long enough. It goes into the crowd. It is good. And Ohio State takes the lead by seven. With 2.19 to play, 
timeout is called to score. Ohio State 21, Michigan 14. Action will continue in just 30 seconds. And here we go. Lido Smith and Huckleberry are deep, and the ball drives deep, deep beyond the end zone. And still 219 left, and Tom Spadani, who cooed it off, put it 70 yards on the fly. It went 60 yards to the goal line, and added. Each has his team in the spread formation, drops back. All he can do is pass now. He caught a run, touched it, comes over the 20, up to the 22. It will be about second down and seven. Bob Brzezinski hammers him down as the referee adjusts the ball on the 22. Time running, 2.06 to go, and Bo Schembecker has all of his side is Jimmy Smith. Second and eight, Michigan on the 22. He rolls to his right, cocks his left hand. He's a left-hander, throws it way, way, way beyond it, and Cassidy almost intercepted on an over-the-shoulder turn on the 45-yard line of Ohio State. The ball badly overthrown for Jimmy Smith. All right, the clock has run down to 1 minute and 39 seconds remaining in play in this football game. It is third down and eight to go. The line of scrimmage, the Michigan 22-yard line. 69, 41 games in a row as Leach takes a snap, left hands it upfield. It is trapped, intended for Jimmy Smith up on the 33, and it is trapped. Yes, Mark. It's a fourth down situation, Tom, and now Michigan will face a sticky situation here. Will they go for it? I, I don't suppose they have any choice, even though the leech call signals. Drops back to the 15. Left hands it upfield, throws on the run. It is intercepted by Cassidy on the 50. The 45, the 40, the 35, the 30. Cuts to the outside and is dropped on the 30 by Gordon Bell. Ohio State's fourth interception. Second of the day for Craig Cassidy. The Buckeyes now have stopped the clock, take over the threat. And first and ten on Michigan 30 with 1.25 to play. That's another big interception for Craig Cassidy. Of course, all interceptions for B are big. But uh, there was really one that might have sunken the Wolverine ship today. One minute and 25 seconds left. Ohio State leading 21. 30-yard line, first and ten. Ten big P. Johnson running up the middle, and he lunges for six yards and goes down inside the 25. Calvin O'Neill picks him up, but the Buckeyes just want the clock to tick off. They'll not put this ball in the air. There'll be no fancy handoffs now or pitch out. Willis wide to left, Ohio in the eye. Johnson hammers the middle and picks his way down to about the 20, very close to a first down. 46 seconds to go as they uh, stop the clock to measure. Dave Devich in on the tackle. The Buckeyes have pounded this football to 20. And the chain 20, Michigan 20. They'll try to run out the clock. Johnson hammers in, finds yards, digs to about the 14-yard line. And Michigan will kill the clock with a timeout. Ohio State does not so much want another score as to run out the 33 seconds that are left on the scoreboard clock. Well, Michigan hasn't lost here. And the teams are down and up to the line. Johnson lumbers and goes to the 11-yard line. And Michigan uses their final timeout to kill the clock at 25 seconds, and it's on the 11-yard line. Now the clock rolls down to 21, and they get it stopped after the umpire of the players. The interesting thing is that uh, Ohio State has a the line, 21 seconds to play, and the quarterback just falls down. So nearly screen takes the snap and collapses. And it's now fourth down, and he lost a half a yard, but the clock will tick off. That'll be the final one. Michigan's got a timeout. The two teams start to go out on the field. And Ohio will have won their 11th game in the Big Ten title and be going to the Rose Bowl for the fourth time. That's it. It's all over. The Buckeyes have come from behind with two dramatic touchdowns in the final three minutes to win this game 21-14 to 14, as well as the Big Ten crown. That's the end of the contest. The final score, Ohio State 21, Michigan 14, and Mar
Jason on his 11, drops back to his three, throws on the run, up field, it is, it's off, it's off.